Emotion is also the most powerful thing in the boardroom. Let me give you an example. Board members are expected to provide ideas and feedback. They also spend a considerable amount of time strategizing, collaborating, and making decisions. Well, that works perfectly well when board members are safe and connected with each other. But put yourself in this situation. I'm going to ask you for some ideas. But before I do that, I'm going to put you high up on a cliff about a thousand feet above the ground. You are sitting on the very narrow ledge and behind you is a stone wall. I want you to feel the breeze between your toes. As you feel that breeze, you see the rest of your board members are sitting across the canyon comfortably in big armchairs. And they look just fine to you. They're not with you at all. Now, I'm going to ask you for some ideas. Do you feel that breeze? Are you listening? Are you going to provide me with ideas? Are you going to collaborate? The thing about brain function is that it's not about whether we've got ideas, we can collaborate or make decisions. It is whether we can access that part of our brain that performs those functions. If I'm on the edge of a cliff, infused with anxiety, terrified and flooded with all kinds of negative affect, you must be kidding of expecting me to participate, engage and come up with great ideas. That is just not going to happen because my brain is busy thinking how to get me to safety.